All right. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about three ways to easily stay on track with your weight loss goals. Now, this is going to be a very interesting and very cool training. And uh, even before we jump into the actual steps, uh, it's going to be very cool because uh, over the weekend, I was blessed to be able to study a training done by what could be the number one best human mindset and uh, brainwashing interrogation specialist in the world. He was working with the U.S. government for over 20 plus years. He trained the CIA, um, a very, very, very powerful person, uh, very, very smart when it comes to mindset. And over the weekend, I learned uh, different ways on how you can build discipline, hack your dopamine. So that way, you know, it's easier to build habits and whatnot. So today I'm going to share with you three ways on how you can easily stay on track with your weight loss goals based off all that training from the other day. Okay. So if you do get some value, if you do learn something new on this training uh, from today, make sure you do like and subscribe so more people can watch this and get the help they need to lose weight and keep it off. For those who don't know, my name is Keaton Hayward. I'm the founder of Coach Hayward. We help busy people. Um, we help them get their mindsets on track, their routines on track, get their habits on track so they can permanently lose weight and keep it off once and for all. So if you want to build back confidence, lose weight for your health, or just feel more like your true authentic self, that's the type of people we work with. Okay, so... Diving in here, guys. So I'm going to name three steps with you here, but this is all based off the training I learned from the past weekend. So basically, there's a way where you can kind of hack your dopamine to help you build discipline much easier so you can build the right habits to lose weight and keep it off. And one of the easiest ways to do so is to live for your future self. So you want to be able to do as many things now where your future self is going to look back and want to high five you and just be so thankful that you did it for them. Um, so one of, the, one, of the, one of the examples he did in his training was like, go to the bank, get a $50 bill out and then put it in your jacket or a hundred dollar bill, whatever it may be, put in your jacket for winter, your winter coat, and then just put it away. So when winter comes around, you're going to pull out the jacket and you're going to find that bill in there. You're like, oh, and it's going to feel really good. So that's just a small example. So today I'm going to go over three ways on what you can do right now to set your future self up for success. So that way you can easily stay on track with your weight loss. So it's going to be very simple training, but it's very effective. So the very first step that you can take here is prepping your gym clothes for the next day right? Prepping the gym clothes for the next day, that's going to help get you set up for success. It's going to help you feel prepared. It's going to help you feel more committed to your goals as well. And this way, you don't have to play the guessing game the next day where it's like, ah, do I want to go to the gym? Do I want to prep my stuff? Do I want to get this on? No, it's already done. It's already ready to go. It's in your car. So after you're done work, you can go to the gym, whatever, however you go about going to the gym, it's right there and it's done, right? So if you work out in the morning, Maybe have your gym shoes and everything on uh, like right by your bed. So as soon as you wake up, you can slip them right on. You're good to go. I would even argue maybe even sleeping in like your gym clothes. Like if you wear leggings to the gym, whatever it may be, something comfortable, maybe even sleeping in it. So that way you're already ready to like literally just get up and go. And it's just as easy as possible for you, right? You're really setting yourself up for success for the future, as you can see. So that's number one, those prepping your gym clothes for the next day, just having it prepped, getting it out of the way. Number two here is this is the most important one, I would say, is prepping your lunch and your food in general for the next day. So this is where like after you're done work or before you go to bed, before you wind down uh, for the evening, just prepping your lunch and making sure that it's all prepped. It's ready to go for the next day. It's out of the way. So that way you can just relax. You can chill out and you'll wake up tomorrow and you'll see that your lunch is ready to go. So that way, when you do go to work, you're not having to buy like fast food. You're not having to skip meals all day long at work and starve and end up binge eating or something later on. No, it's prepped. It's ready to go. And you set yourself up for success. So that would be the next one is prepping your lunch for the next day. Now you can do this either, you know, meal prep for the whole week, or you can just prep every single day, whatever works best for you. But prepping your lunch for the next day is going to be key because remember preparation is half the battle, right? If we're not, if we're not being prepared, if we're not being, uh, if we're not prepping for success, then we're prepping to fail, right? So make sure you have your lunch on track, make sure you have your food on track because that's 90% of the battle here when it comes to weight loss. All right. After it comes from prepping, the next thing that we want to do here is calendar. Go over your calendar for the next day. This is really important, especially for those who have like a hectic schedule that's all over the place, because this way you can try to have at least some sort of control, right? So if you know what's going to be going on the next day, just go into a Google calendar, go write down on a, on a piece of notepad and literally just build out your calendar for the next day. 
Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna do, I have to do these things. So I'm gonna put those in here. This is where I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put my gym session here, make sure my food, uh, okay, added it all in and you're ready to go. That's gonna help you actually save time because then you know, the next day you're not procrastinating, you're not feeling all over the place or overwhelmed from your hectic, busy schedule because things are structured in, all right? So those are the three things that you can really do to set yourself up for success. Now, remind, just to remind you, is that it's all about living for your future self, right? So you want to be able to do as many things right now that your future self is going to want to high five you for, because that's going to kind of hack your dopamine system. It's going to make you feel more excited, more, more better feeling to really keep doing these things here. And then every time when you wake up the next day in the near future and you, you, you get what you wanted, it's a good feeling. And you want to keep doing more and more and more to live for your future self. Right. So that is the train for today. And it's kind of like a, a little delayed gravitation in a way, a little test there as well. But uh, I promise you, if you drew these, the little things is what matters most when it comes to weight loss. It's not about cutting out your carbs. It's not about following the best number one diet in the world or training the best number one way in the world. It's about setting yourself up for success. It's about the little things that we can get on track here to help us build the habits, keep our mindsets on track keep believing in our journey and to keep making progress, of course. Okay. So try these things out here for a whole week. And I promise you it's going to go a long way. All right. So that's the training for today, guys. Quick, to the point, effective. If you learned something new, if this helped you out in any, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below and stay tuned. I'm posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right now. But if you want to see more, I'm also on Instagram at coach.hayward. All right. So if you like this training, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later on the next one.